Alright, welcome to another episode of This Is Anything Goes and today we will be ultra sonicing the brick pads. Okay, this is all pretty dirty. Okay. And I've given the this brick a bit of a cleaning because uh, in one of my videos when I'm testing the power of the car, I did a little bit too much um, spirited driving as one would call it and I sort of burned these brick pads and I want to see whether cleaning it I, whether I can reuse it after I clean it okay so that's the reason why we have this experiment whether or not ultrasonic will be able to clean your brick pads as well as all the shims and if the ultrasonic will actually well break the brick pad okay because brick pad consists of multiple uh, materials all of it are actually resin on or should I say glue on or maybe um, joined with uh, chemical so the ultrasonic actually destroy this let's give it a try one thing for sure this will be clean okay so what I'll be doing is I'll be using uh, water along with some soap and maybe a bit of a degreaser Okay, so let's get to it. Well, guess what? I forgot to press on record just now. So, what I what I did was I have added sunlight as well as for engine degreaser I use Genix. Okay, then I've turned it on. Uh, it has only been running for thirty seconds, and you can see how dirty it is already. So these are the things inside. Okay, we will let it run for 20 minutes first. Um, then we'll come back and we'll probably add another 20 minutes. This time I did not do the degassing procedure because I don't think that it makes much of a difference because when we are so-called degassing at the time, it's also running like normal. So might as well don't waste the electricity, right? Okay, let's go. Twenty minutes is up, and let's have a look. So this should be hot. Oh, it is hot. It is hot. Okay, it's quite dirty as well. You can't even see the bottom of the tank. Actually, you can't see anything inside as well. All right, so let's get it out. Oh, interest, interest. I hope you can see this. The brake pads are steaming hot. Let's put this aside. Okay, let's have a look. All right, most likely we will need to give it a wipe, but let's have a look at the state of it. Oh yeah, it's hot. It is hot. Okay, be right back. And I am back. Let's have a look. Looks like the ultrasonic did not destroy the pads, but it's interesting to note that it does look a bit funny. It's very clean. You can barely see much dirt on my hand.
And this uh most of it is just loose dust and seems to be good. Hmm, this didn't clean quite well. Okay, so in conclusion, should you use the ultrasonic cleaner to clean your brake pads and the shims? Well, not really. I think if you use elbow grease, it will be cleaner actually because I will have to use elbow grease now. But it does make it easier to clean. All the kick up dust and brick dust and whatnot is gone. Alright, so let's have a look after we polish it. Alright, after plenty of polishing, I've managed to turn this into this. Okay, so seems like the ultrasonic cleaner is not very effective when it comes to cleaning some kick on dust over here or whatever it is that is over here so yep if you want to see how i actually turn that to this well make sure you are subscribed make sure you hit the bell button because i will be uploading a new video on how to make this to mirror finish okay till next time i will see you again